crispy reviews and tips once again. So today I prepped for review is Black & Decker 300 watts mini stand mixer or hand mixer with a stand and a bowl. So today we're gonna make cake batter in it. So we're gonna see how efficient it is and what's the minimum quantity of eggs required to beat in this stand mixer and also the outcome of the cake uh, after having made batter in this stand mixer. And wait, wait, I've also tried making whipped cream frosting with a hand mixer. So I'll also show you the outcome of that. So without further delay, shall we move to the video? Then let's go. So this is the packing of our Black & Decker hand mixer with a stand and a bowl. So this comes with a two years warranty. So you can see that, right? So now let's open the box and see what's inside. So this is a stand of the hand mixer and it's really light, but it has this uh, vacuum uh, holder at the bottom. And here are the two whisk attachments made of uh, stainless steel and the kneading attachment. And here we have this strong and sturdy mixing bowl. It's a 3.5 liter uh, mixing bowl. So we have this button here to tilt uh, this thing. So just lift it up and place the mixing bowl inside. That's it. And this whisk attachment, it's important to put it into the right slots to get it fixed. Okay, so now it's ready, we'll fix it on the stand. So we have to fix the mixer into these uh, sockets. So these tabs has to get popped into this uh, socket. So just uh, press down vertically. And yes, it's locked. To release it, you gotta press this button and lift it up like this, okay? Let's start by trying to whisk two eggs first and let's see what happens so i'll turn it on and you can see the bowl has started rotating but the whisking blades are not touching the eggs at all so we can conclude that it's not possible to beat two eggs with the mixer fixed on the stand so i'm going to add two more eggs now so four eggs totally So these are four medium eggs. As I told you earlier, the bowl uh, rotates automatically and now it has started whisking the eggs. So we need a minimum of uh, four eggs to whisk using this hand mixer fixed on the stand. So after two minutes, um, you can see it has turned slightly frothy. So I will start adding my uh, sugar into it. So after about 7 to 8 minutes of continuous beating, my egg has turned really pale and fluffy. So I'm going to add my flour on low speed. I usually do it with my spatula but today I'm going to try it on the stand mixer. So in between I've added my other ingredients like essence and things. So here we have a nice and creamy batter. I'm transferring it to my cake tin and we'll bake it. And here is my nice and fluffy sponge cake. So it's really soft. One good thing I noticed about this mixer is that it didn't get heated up at all during the whisking process. And now I'm gonna make my whipped cream frosting. So I've chilled the bowl and blades and I've done everything as usual. So let's whip it up. And so that's it. Here we have our nice and stiff whipped cream frosting. So let me show you. Can you see? It's so perfect and ready for frosting. If you wish to buy this product, please check the link in the description box. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. See you soon in another useful video like this. Until then, bye.